We need to have a talk. It's long overdue. We've been in this space for a long time. You know what it is. I know what it is. But we haven't had that talk. But today, we're going to bring it out. Really? Gotta get used to it a little bit. Each day, I get this email from you. Yes, you. Hey, Glendon, I don't mind that you have contacted me, that I've contacted you on Facebook, LinkedIn, Gmail, personal email, called your phone number. But, hey, I have a question. And it's always this question that you ask. It is always this question. I've got a situation. Hopefully, you can help me out. You see, I don't make as much money as I would like to make. But what I'm looking for, and these are the uh, requirements, these are the criteria, I need something that's going to make me anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 extra a month. Can't work too hard. I can't devote a lot of time to it. And I've got two to four kids, or my mother, or my father, or my grandmother. So, I need something that makes a lot of money, doesn't take a lot of time, and oh yeah, I am broke, so I have no money to pay you, but I want you to help me out because you're such a good person. I get that email every day. <sighs> See, I got love for you, and that's why I'm bringing it to you like this. We live in an internet society. We live in a world where things are moving very, very fast. We live in a world where things are just amazing. Everything's amazing. Technology's amazing. You can do things like that that a few decades ago took weeks, days, months, years, whatever. However, since I care about you and I want the best for you, I need you to understand that Fast money does not come to most of us. I understand that you are working 2.8 jobs. I understand that your kids need shoes. I understand that your sick father needs you or your sick mother. I understand. However, you have to make a choice. Because you cannot serve two masters at the same time. If you're going to be there for your kids, your fam, be there and understand the chances of you being poor are extraordinarily high. It's a choice. It is what it is. If you want to start a side business to bring in extra income, let me just give you some of my criteria. In the beginning, you will probably work your side business longer than you work your real job because you don't know what you're doing. Number two, once you figure out what you're doing, the money is still not going to look as good as what you make from your real job because of the effort to reward ratio. Number three, you will not have any time to yourself, let alone to think, because between your real job and your side hustle, you're exhausted. And you might make two to six hundred to seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a month while busting your ass. See, <clears throat> I have love for you and that's why I'm going to tell you the truth. Because if you go back to what you asked me, if I came to you and I came to your house and said I want the best of you for little or nothing, you would think that I was fucking stupid. You th would call me insensitive. You would say, hey, you know, that's just not right. But that's not, that's not what upsets me. That's not what upsets me with you. No, that is not what upsets me with you. You know what upsets me with you? Is you've been asking the same question for the last decade. You keep asking the same question, but you don't start working. Each day, I research for my business, for my clients, people who are doing things. Let the facade go. If you want 
200, 300, 400, 500 dollars a month, you could probably make that and not work that hard. But if you once you get past 1,200, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, you will have to apply yourself with a greater vigor than you apply yourself to your quote real job. And the reason I keep distinguishing between side hustle and real job is until you think of your creativity, your abilities, the things that you can do as something valuable, you will always be a sideline hoe. And when I say a sideline hoe is you will whore yourself out for your side business because you do not think that you're good enough to turn your sideline shit into your main shit. That's your problem. That's what upsets me. I'm not trying to quit my real job. I'm not trying to lose my benefits because, see, you know, I don't think that I'm good enough. I don't think that I have what it takes to make this thing go. I don't really think I can do it. So I'm going to lie to you. I'm going to blow smoke up your ass and tell you it's lemonade and you should like the taste because I don't want to confront the truth that I am a scared little bitch. I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to ask you this question over and over and over again. And when you ignore my emails, because sometimes I do, I'm going to call you an asshole because you should help me because you're on YouTube. You wrote a book. You work from home. You do all of this stuff. You owe me. Now, if you had that kind of vigor for yourself, if you looked in the mirror and said, you know what? I fucked up today, but I will be better tomorrow. You have solved 50 percent of your fucking problems. And on another thing, uh, there are many of you who do not like me using the word fuck, damn, motherfucker. Uh, I'm going to say kindly and gently. There is a unsubscribe button there. Use it. Go away. Because this is the beauty of owning your shit. This is the beauty of having enough faith in yourself, in your abilities, and the things that you can do, that I can live my life the way that I fucking well please. As long as I don't break the law or impede on the rights of someone else, I can do what the fuck I want, say what the fuck I want, and live how the fuck I want. And that pisses some of you the fuck off. Because you want me to be like you. But I'm not like you anymore. I used to be like you. I used to drink the Kool-Aid. I used to stand in the come fuck me today line by society. Yeah, I was that dude. And then one day I saw an opening. I'm lying. I got kicked out the pasture. The society said, oh, no, we don't want you no more. We don't want you no more. You don't have what it takes because you think too much. You ask too many damn questions. You think too much, motherfucker. You think. Stop thinking. Just do. Don't think. Just do. And I kept thinking, and I kept thinking, and once I got kicked out, regurgitated from the Matrix, I found out that it's pretty cool out here. But the adjustment period is rough. It's harsh. It takes a lot out of you. The adjustment period is, is for the rough and rugged. So we're having this talk because I care about you. I want you to be successful. But for you to be successful, you must change how you think. There is no such thing as you're going to equal or earn half of what you make or more than what you make without applying vigorous effort. It's not going to happen. I don't care what your Uncle Sam told you with his m and I don't care what someone told you they're making on FBA. I don't give a fuck. The reality is long-term success requires long-term determination. And if you Continue to think that you're going to skirt past all of that hard work, all of that effort, and just somehow going to start making this money. And some of you will. Some of you will find a scheme, a tactic, and you'll make some money for a minute. And then all it's going to like, blah, 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 blah. It's going to all come falling down because you never learn how to build the shit correctly to be in with. But see, I care about you, and that's why I'm talking to you like this. This is not tough love. This is motherfucker love. I'm telling you, you're thinking like a motherfucker and not in a good way. You're thinking like a loser because you don't think that you can do it. You're thinking like a scared little bitch because you want something for nothing and you think you should have it because you're entitled. Get real. Understand. You're not competing with Bill across the street. You're competing with Song Shui in China. You're competing with Mumbai in India. You're competing with uh, Hans in Germany. You're, that's who you're fucking competing with until you realize that you are always behind. If you want to get a few steps ahead, this is what you have to do. Number one, 
wake up in the morning, or perhaps if you're really brave, look in the mirror and say, you know what? I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. I'm going to do better. But the minute that you keep thinking it's someone else's fault, you're thinking it's because who's in office? I laugh at the people who go all day long about who the fuck's in the office, how they're fucking them, how they're messing up their economy. I started this business in the middle of one of the worst recessions next to the Great Depression, and it thrived in a fucking recession, writing books. You know why? Because I thought I could. I thought I could. And if once you start thinking that you can do this stuff, once you start thinking that you can do bigger and better, you'll stop looking for the shortcuts because you realize you have what it takes to go the long way. Yeah, you. So hopefully you enjoyed this motherfucker love because understand, I know there's some of you who are going to unsubscribe and that's cool. There's someone else here on YouTube that will speak to you in the way that you want to be spoken to. Me, I'm going to tell you the truth. The reason that you're not successful is because you do not work hard enough. I don't care about racism. I don't care about Obama. I don't care about the GOP. None of those motherfuckers are going to stop me from getting my success. And until you develop that attitude, you will always be their little sideline whole bitch. Just begging for crumbs and complaining when they taste sour. You got a choice. Stop looking for the easy way. Stop looking for magic jelly beans. Stop looking for fast money. The, real, the reality is if you start a business today and you really apply yourself, it'll probably be months before it makes enough money for you to really feel happy with the results. Six months, which is extremely quick. But for many of you, that's, whoa, 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 that's too long. You know, who got time for that? You know, my, I got to get my success now. I got to make my money now. I got to, you know, I got things to do. I got to pay. I got to do this. No, you don't. You can't push this any faster than you push this if you catch my drift. So for those of you who are still here, who are not offended, who did not unsubscribe from the channel, which I thought many people would, I got an offer for you. I'm about to give you the mental game. It's called scripted days. This is something that I do because you, you have to adjust your mindset. You, you have to really think differently to be successful in, to work, in today's world. So this is something that starts tomorrow. It's a week long program, 30 minutes a day. But after the program, you're expected to continue to do it. And I've realized some amazing and powerful results from this technique. So click that dot, do what you need to do. You'll be in. The course starts 6 p.m. tomorrow. Now, you'll buy it and you will not be able to get in because the course starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow, so you can't get in. But at 6 p.m. or a little bit before, you will get an email that will let you into the course and you'll have your first exercise. So if you're ready to change your life, if you're not looking for any more shortcuts, if you're not looking for someone to hold your dick while you go to the bathroom, if you're looking to be different, and I'm going to tell you, this course, I'm putting information I've never put out before. And some of it's going to blow your mind. It's going to literally blow your mind. So if you're ready to change your life, check out Scripted Days. This is the beta version. You want to get in now because once I finish it, I am adjusting the price. Because you know, I'm your Uncle Glendon and that's how I do. And with that, I will see you in the next session.